welcome everyone to another Space Engineers video. I am Game Explorer and today I want to show you my drilling rig. This is, uh, it's not, you don't have to get very far into survival to get to this. This is not a end game kind of thing. This is early to mid game and it will completely change your resource resource problem that you're constantly starved for into bountiful harvest. Um, so I'll show you the rig and then we'll create the rig. We'll do it in creative. But um, so here we go. We just got a platform here with a large storage. We have a refinery. We have a couple of wind turbines. I have a connector here for a ship to dock because as you can see you're not getting a rover in here once you start digging any depth at all and the reason is you, you get a lot more ore by doing a complete circle so the way that the drill is set up is we have several pistons right here I've colored, colored them to make them easier to tell apart. So I've got three pistons. Going up. And I have an advanced rotor. You want the advanced rotor so that it will pass through materials. The regular rotor does not. And you got a conveyor. Three more pistons going out. Another conveyor, another advanced rotor, and then as many pistons as you want. I have four currently. I've had five on this rig. Um, and then as many drills as you want at the bottom. I just have two for the moment. There's a couple important things to note about this drill. The most important one is that look how stable it is that this does not happen by default so what we're going to do is go into the control panel here head to our piston and you can see there share inertia tensor we're going to check that box and we're going to check that for all the pistons and that will allow them to share the load and steady it. So now what I want to do is show what happens when that inertia tensor is not checked. So we're going to select all the pistons, uncheck the box, and take a look at the drill. You can see it swaying already, but we'll take a closer look here. Look at that. That is eventually going to cause damage to the drill to the piston, to the rotor, and could ultimately damage it so bad that it detaches and just destroys itself. So super important that you have all those checked. So I built on an iron deposit. If I uh, come over here, this entire shelf over here is iron. You can see iron there, 37.6 meters down and it goes all the way up the hill. So it took a little while to get to the iron. But as you can see, right there is iron. This is just rock. But right here is iron. Let's see, it's 20, 13, 10, 9. So I've hit the iron right here. This whole shelf is iron. Um, it started off with just a small patch here, and now it's starting to expose more of it. You can kind of see the little line there where it first appeared. Let's take a look at the refinery and the storage. So I have currently 439,000 iron ingots. Yet yeah, thousand. I've taken several hundred thousand out of this cargo container uh, to build things, obviously. I have another 169,000 iron here waiting to process. 40,000 stone waiting to process. 
refinery's hard at work. It's got another 9.7 thousand iron there. And all I do, the rotors are just um, kind of working on their own. Advanced rotor drill here. Have it set to, this is all default. Uh, three revolutions per minute. This is not default. So I set this to three. And this is on the drill, the one at the bottom of the pistons connected to the drills. That's that piston that's doing three revolutions per minute. Now this one is the one for the entire base that's turning. The one that's... I'll show you. This one here at the top. The one that's spinning this around the entire base. If I did that one at three revolutions per minute, that would be very, very fast, right? Yeah, it would also break your drills. You can't drill that fast. So I have it going much, much slower. Point one. That's as slow as you can make it go. That works great. Lots of ore very quickly. And currently piston six is at two meters. So I can extend him. Since I've already done the reverse once, the velocity is positive 0.5. I can set the maximum distance, and what I'm going to do is just type in 3. You'll want to do this by typing it in, because if you accidentally slide it too far, you can break your drill. So here we go. We're at 3. Or you'll break something. Something's going to give if you go too far. So I'll say OK. You can see the attached current position is already at 3. What does that do? Let's start increasing must be in the stone area because our stone is jumping up quite a bit come over here and look yeah this this area over here is a little further downhill so it took longer to for the drills to even touch ground it, they, they were just in the air for quite a while actually first probably five to ten meters okay that's enough of that let's build it We are in creative mode. So you can see we got some iron right here. Um, it's only like four and a half meters below the surface. That's not realistic in survival. You, you'll have to drill down at least 20 to 50 meters or so. But this is where we're going to build. So what I want to do is lay down a base. There we go. going to be putting a large storage on here, which is a 3x3, so you got to have at least a 3x3 three three to even fit that. And we're going to have things like a wind turbine and, um, of course, the pistons for the drilling rig, so we need a large battery. So we'll start with this, and we'll adjust as needed. So the next thing I want to put down as is the large storage. Right there looks good. I'm going to need a refinery. We need a way to power this base. So I think the wind turbine is in order here. So let's build up. thought here is 7 to 10 is good. Oh. Looks good. And I'll just build it out a little bit so we can put two of them up here. One there, one here. Alright, now let's put down a battery. Okay, we're ready to build the drill. So, we need a conveyor. Build a 
junction here. We're gonna have to build this down to the side because we kind of need that top part for the pistons. Pistons are gonna be advanced. As you can tell, that doesn't clear wind turbine. So we need to do something to clear it, right? But we're just going to extend the pistons. That'll be fine. Or at least one of the pistons. So we need an advanced rotor that will also be under advanced. Makes sense, right? Here we go, the rotor. Don't pick the rotor get the advanced rotor. The difference being the advanced rotor allows you to pass materials through. Of course, we want to pass ore through, so we'll build an advanced rotor. There we go. So let's extend out. It's already set. So we'll just extend one up. As it turns out, the last piston on there is Well, the ideal one to extend, right? So we'll let it extend the full 10. One thing we're going to want to do with our advanced rotor is lock it in place for right now. You don't want that spinning around on you. So we'll go to the advanced rotor. We do want to name it, right? So we'll call this, like, the base one. On it. Uh, go ahead and click the. And then we'll lock the rotor there. Alright. Select the conveyor junction. We'll do this. We'll, we'll put pistons on because that's the way our base is built. We'll go out three more. like I had it in the video. And now we need our pistons. One, two, three, four, five, and our drills. One. left to do is set up the RPM for our base advanced rotor here and our drill advanced rotor here. We'll just put a D for drill. Now if you remember we set this one to three RPMs, right? already started working. And we set this top one here to 0.1. Now, first thing I want to do is get these drills a little closer to the ground and turn them on. Set it to 0.1, okay? It's important. ever 
so slowly moving. Five thousand stone. Not bad, right? Now. What's your cargo container you got? Seven point five eight k now. So it doesn't take long. What's nice about this? You're not just getting iron. You're also getting nickel silver. Of course, when you get down to the iron, you'll be getting pure iron there, or mostly iron. Because it's sloped, because things are at different depths, you'll pick up other materials as well. Now the one thing we didn't build was the connector for a ship. You do need to be mindful of how far out you come. You don't want this arm to hit your connector. So don't come out any further than you need to. So don't want to go up too high or at the top, right? So we'll put a connector right here. Yeah. There it is. Takes 10 minutes to rotate around. So every 10 minutes, you can come back, drop it one more meter. Or you can just go off and do whatever else you're doing and just come back every half hour I just do it whenever I think about it, just drop it one more meter. And sometimes I turn it off because it just produces quite a bit of ore, especially now that I'm down to the iron. There you have it. How far, how, how deep you can go depends on how many pistons you have, right? You can drop this down a little bit. Not very much, but a little bit. But you can extend it. You've got two more. Well. You have one more piston that you can fully extend, right? You can go up another 10 meters, you can add a few more, or a couple more pistons to it. But since there's five right here, you can go 50 meters deep. So you're going to get that ore that you detected. Okay, that's how you build it. I'm Game Explorer, and we'll talk to you soon.